Good evening. It has been one month since the Iranian government shot down a passenger plane shortly after takeoff, killing 176 innocent people on board, including 57 Canadian citizens. The families of the victims are still coping with unbearable grief, some having just returned from Iran after retrieving the bodies of their loved ones. <laughs> A flood of heart-wrenching memories as Mojgan Taghaza looks through old photo albums. Still in disbelief and the pain as intolerable as it was the day she found out a passenger plane carrying her husband was shot down. Every day from the moment I wake up, I cry until I go to bed, she tells me in Farsi. His name was Farhad Niknam. The 44-year-old lived in Winnipeg with his wife and two children and had been traveling back and forth from Iran while completing exams. After Flight 752 went down, it was his wife and two kids who journeyed to Iran to retrieve his body. This was the first time that I went to Iran without Farhad and returned without Farhad. In the 15 years we've been married, I've never traveled without him. We were always together. And while four weeks have passed, there are still more questions than answers for the families of the victims, as Iran refuses to turn over the plane's black boxes to investigators. The most important question I have is, why Farhad? Why this plane? His funeral was held last Saturday. It was the worst moment of my life. The first time I saw him in the casket, I felt like I died right there. Everything was over for me. And when we buried him, it was the worst moment of my life. I don't think it can get any worse. We say it's all about solidarity. The Canada Strong campaign to raise funds for the families of the victims has grown exponentially since launching almost a month ago, currently sitting at almost $886,000. By the time you divide it, that's not a lot of money. It's basically what we're giving them, less than $50,000 per family, and that's not a lot of money. The federal government has agreed to match the funds up to $1.5 million. They've set a February 21st deadline, and organizers say there are two more events to boost the campaign before then. It's not about the money. It's about the solidarity. It's about not feeling alone. We're all one Canadian family. In the meantime, mm. Mojgan wants people to remember the loving husband and father Farhad was. We were so in love. We were so lucky. No matter what I say about him, it will never be enough. If you'd like to donate to the Canada Strong campaign, you can visit a link posted on our website, citynews.ca extras. Thank <laughs> you.